Today I will show you a comedy, drama, sci-fi film from 2002 titled Simone. Victor Taransky is removing red gummies from a bowl full of them. He is a film director, who struggled to make a splash recently. It gets worse when his world-famous actress, Nicola Anders, quits over a foolish complaint over the size of her trailer. Despite Victor's pleas, she leaves. Later, the producers say that Nicola's contract prevents them from using any of the footage they have of her. Victor wants to reshoot, but the producers see this with business eyes and want to kill the project and cut their losses. Victor talks to the head producer, Elaine, who is also his ex-wife. He starts to reminisce about the glory days of cinema, complaining that the actresses these days are just prima donnas. Nicola even had him, the director, separate the red gummies from the rest of them. Elaine listens to him, but ultimately shuts down the project. That night, as he's depressed and gets ready to leave, a man behaving erratically comes to talk to him. He introduces himself as Hank, someone that Victor apparently met in some conference eight years ago. He says that he has a highly advanced technology that could help with Victor's issues. Victor is skeptical. Hank insists on the credit of his invention. He says that they must try it now, as he has a tumor that will kill him in a week. Victor does not care and leaves. More than a week later, Victor gets a package from Hank's lawyer who gives him something that Hank left for him in his will. It's a drive. Victor tries it. It's a program called Simulation One. We then cut to nine months later. People are watching Victor's latest movie. He's replaced Nicola with another beautiful actress that he calls Simone, short for Simulation One. Despite there being only a handful of people in the audience, they are all enthralled by Simone's performance. After the movie ends, they cheer loudly. They congratulate Victor's direction and Simone's performance, especially the latter. The world catches on to this new sensation. Everyone, from the media to the production houses, wants to know who Simone is. No one, not a single person, has ever met her. Victor gives a vague explanation for her lacking appearance, saying that she's the introverted type. He has an entire set all by himself where he only has the computers where Simone is programmed. Victor has spliced together the best qualities of numerous great actresses like Audrey Hepburn and Meryl Streep, from their looks to their acting. He even inputs the vocal prowess of Whitney Houston. Victor reveals some guilt but convinces himself that this is all for the sake of art. Later, as he talks to the press, two particularly obsessive tabloid reporters ask him why the movie was dedicated to Hank. Victor says that he was a dear person to Simone. When Victor pretends to talk to Simone over the phone, they break into the signal and realize that no one is replying and Victor seems to be talking to himself. Life changes for Victor. As he's having a fun time with his daughter, Lainey, paparazzi swarm to his house like flies to honey. Even Elaine is more respectful to him these days. They discuss Victor's new movie. She asks him why Simone won't be needing makeup artists, fitness trainers or even stunt doubles. Victor replies that Simone will do all that by herself. He then goes to the cast of his new movie and says that they will not be acting alongside Simone. She will shoot her scenes separately. The cast accepts this, as they're just happy to ride on the coattails of Simone Mania. Victor then calls Simone. As the cast members get to know her, he runs to his private set just in time for the recorded message to end. Then, he talks to them and Simone mirrors his every word, tone and action. They shoot the movie, and in post-production, Victor brings out the magic of Simulation 1. He adds Simone in scenes and even controls the amount of tears that she cries. In order to control expectations, he rents out a suite in a hotel, claiming that a woman named Anamis will be taking it. The concierge realizes that it's a name for Simone reversed and does what any good gentleman would do, that is calling the entire freaking paparazzi to the hotel. Victor is happy. He hoped that would happen. He goes to the suite and sets up the room as if it was habited by a woman recently. After that, he goes downstairs where the paparazzi eagerly wait for Simone. With a woman hiding her face, he runs to the car and they leave. The woman is a stand-in actress named Faith. They go to Victor's place and there is a glimpse into Hollywood behind the scenes, as the director and actress start to make love. But, when Victor realizes that Faith is also infatuated by Simone more than by him, he sends her away. Back at the hotel, the two tenacious reporters bribe their way into the suite. One of them creeps over Simone's things like some psychopath in the making. Victor's new movie is a huge success, especially Simone's performance. At the A-lister party, everyone begs Victor to reveal if Simone will be coming. He gives a calculated and ambiguous answer and everyone thinks she's here. They even mistake a poor girl to be Simone. Tabloid reporters, who apparently work for Echo magazine, found no prints in the suite, so they make up a fake story about Simone's childhood. Victor is furious about this, but he has other wrecking balls to stop. 
The producers want Simone to come out and promote the movie. They enter Victor's private set and see the computer setup. Victor claims that Simone is just addicted to computers and is also phobic to people and germs. The producers are only mildly understanding. When Victor promises that Simone will do an online interview, the producers are very understanding. He gives Elaine a photograph of Simone, claiming that she had been at the party. Elaine is so happy that she does not even recognize the bad Photoshop job. For the live interview, Victor sets up Simone in a desert area, claiming it to be a set. He answers all the questions. At the end, Simone starts to glitch and he quickly turns it off before anyone can notice anything wrong. But that is not where the harm is done. The tabloid reporter recognizes the place. He goes there and sees that a building should have been seen in yesterday's interview. So, he goes to Victor and says that he used an old stock photo. He claims that something fishy is going on, maybe Victor even has held Simone captive somewhere. He threatens to bring more attention to this issue. To appease them, Victor prepares a concert for Simone. People arrive in the thousands, all crazy for her. Victor uses Simulation 1 to project Simone as a hologram. She sings her songs and the people eat up every word and note. Even the tabloid reporters are convinced. Later, Elaine and Laney come to meet Victor and Simone. Seeing the lipstick on his lips which he was using to kiss photos for the fans, Elaine thinks that he is having a relationship with Simone. Elaine is more concerned about Victor these days. Her boyfriend, Kent, realizes this. They get into an argument, the result of which is a breakup. Laney, who never liked Kent, happily relays this news to her father. She urges him to talk to her mother, saying that Simone could help get them together. So, Victor sets up a very risky phone call with Elaine. As she's driving, he calls her from a nearby car. Using Simone's voice, he dispels any ideas that she and Victor are dating. He then suggests that she should go to the Oscars with Victor. Elaine can't say no to Simone. At the Oscars, Simone is nominated twice in the same category, and she also wins through both of them, tying with herself. They play a pre-recorded message from Simone, where she thanks everyone but not Victor. He goes back to his set, realizing that he forgot to thank himself through Simone. He realizes that he's starting to project himself into her too much to the point of forgetting that they are different people. He then pretends to have dinner with Simone. Hearing this, Elaine arrives at his house. Victor reveals that Simone wasn't coming and he missed Elaine. She wants him back too and they start making love. However, Elaine has too little self-esteem because of Simone and says that he should be with her. Victor reveals that Simone is only a program. She's an image that he made. Elaine says that it is not Victor who made Simone, it's her who made him. Victor is angry that Simone's towering figure has permeated into his personal life. So, he vows to destroy her. He makes a new movie apparently directed by Simone called I Am Pig. It's a movie that is supposed to make you queasy and hate it. However, people praise it for being bold and experimental. Victor talks at Hank's grave, pondering over what he should do. He can't tell the world, as he'll be arrested for fraud. So, he goes home and uses a virus to wipe all of Simone's codes. He puts her drive and data in a box, which he takes out to see and sinks it. The next day, he gives the news that Simone is dead due to contracting a virus on her goodwill tour. Everyone is devastated. A huge funeral is set up for Simone where most of the Hollywood elite come. As they take her casket away, the police arrive and open it, revealing only a cardboard cut out of Simone. They arrest Victor for the murder of Simone. Victor explains that Simone does not really exist. She is a computer code and all her cinema work is fake. The police obviously don't believe him, as they have heaps of magazines in front of them to sway their opinion. They show footage of Victor taking the trunk to see, and they believe that he was disposing of Simone's body. They want him to confess, but Victor is not going to do that. So, they all go to fish out the trunk. The trunk is empty because of a broken lock, and sharks swim around them. The police believe that Simone's body was eaten by a shark. Later, Victor admits to his attorney that he just wanted to be known, to have his art seen and accepted. Which is why he pushed Simone's image. His attorney wants him to plead guilty with an insanity defense. Elsewhere, Laney and Elaine explore Victor's set. Elaine is mad at Victor for the death of Simone, but Laney brings up an important point. Neither of them really met Simone, not in the flesh. No one did. Elaine also starts to question the whole thing. Lady uses the virus to rewrite Simone's code. At the police station, Victor is starting to get frustrated with his attorney. Just then, the police come and put on the news. It's Simone reading today's newspaper. Since Simone is apparently still alive, they let Victor go. A horde of reporters wait for him, but he rushes straight to the car where Elaine and Laney are waiting for him. 
Lainey says that she is okay with her father creating a fake icon. But she is not okay being lied to. Victor apologizes and Elaine asks him to move in with them, with Simone. Victor is so happy to be back with Elaine and Lainey. He looks out at all the people clamoring around them. He says that this is life and they drive away. Later, Simone is giving an interview. She explains that she just wanted a break from all the glamour, movies and reporters. So, she asked Victor's help, resulting in the fake death news. The interviewers eat it up easily. She then reveals that she will not be returning to movies but, instead, will be moving to politics. She shows them a little baby, her baby which she apparently had with Victor. Victor is actually sitting alone in front of a green screen. Victor sets up scenes in the supermarket. He then adds Simone to them, 